Hello, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a video. Uh, I did want to start making lots of videos, getting out there and actually enjoying the outside and the outdoors. But as you know, probably know, we're in lockdown again. So, um, I thought I'd show you my BCB Crusader kit and the little modification I've done to it. This is the Mark 1 Crusader and as you know you can't use the Trangia Spirit Burners in them without some kind of modification. Let's just get my Trangia out. So many of you have probably already seen some Spirit Burner. Yeah, many of you have probably already seen the fire rope mod that they that you can do with the Mark One Crusader. But I've got a little take on that. So let me get it all out of the kit, get the kit all out, and I'll show you. I've got a few extras in here. I've got the original plastic lid. Top, we've got some Fire Dragon gel. Let's move them out of the way, we won't be needing that. Ferris Fire Striker. Some more gel. There's three gels in the air, so I can actually cook on gel or a spirit when I go out. The cup. Water bottle, and metal cup, and this is actually the Osprey one as well. It is a proper BCB cup as well, serial numbered, dated 2016. And the actual cooker itself. This cooker. I've also got in here one of these pot stands because if you put this together, just bear with me a minute. slots together you can actually put it on your mark one burner probably not a good surface to do it on move that over there okay, so you can put that on your mark one burner and then your Trangia fits in there and your cup on top. So that's one modification so you can and you can cook with pans on it as well then. But saying that you could just do that. But that's in there and that on there and you've got a little bit of a windshield. And this is actually slightly better height, you get more heat. I think the sweet spot is just over an inch from the Trangia burner to your pot or pan. But anyway, that's not what I'm doing yet. Right, normally people let's bring you back over here. Right, normally people just wrap their fire rope in there and then pour the mess on it and burn it. What I've got is a pellet tin. And inside the pellet tin is my cooled up fire rope. 
So, you know, if you want to use this for solid fuels, hexamine blocks or the gel, you can still use it without messing around with your fire rope and that. And, you know, and then if you want to use your fire rope, you don't have to go about coiling it up and then pouring your maths on it. With this, it just, that in your kit is nothing. It weighs next to nothing. And you just put it in the bottom of your cooker. And on with the mess. And there you have your spirit burner. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to test this out. Um, we're going to pour 500 millilitres of water into the cup. Set it going and see how long it takes to get a boil. Right, let's get that set up. Right. That's all in there, ready to go. Let's load it up with some methylated spirit. Enough in there so it looks like the actual whole rope has turned purple with the methylated spirits. I do use bioethanol as well and I'll have to do a comparison comparison between that and the meths to see how long it burns for. Because as I understand it, the bioethanol burns quicker. I've mixed this methylated spirits with 10% water. I've actually given up smoking, so I haven't got a lighter, so let's uh, use the fire steel. There you go, straight away. Right, let's get the cup on. Nice bit of heat coming off there already. Let's get the cup on. Fill it to the 500 millilitres mark. Now actually you're going to use a piece of foil as a lid. I keep meaning to order the metal lid. And I forget. Right, start the timer. See how long it takes. Be back in a minute. Right, we're currently at five minutes just coming up to six minutes. We're going to hear some noise going on in there. So let's have a look. That's hot. We've got bubbles, but not a boil. So let's keep going. Right, we've just come up to eight minutes. <laughs> Eight and a quarter minutes, eight minutes, 15 seconds, eight minutes, 20 now. There's definitely some action going on in there, so let's have a look. And we've got a proper rolling boil. Let's take the camera off, show you. So what I'm going to do now, is we'll take that off see how long that burns for. It looks like it's already fluttering. I don't think it's going to last much longer. Right, just past 10 minutes and still burning. He's making quite a few popping noises now. I don't think there's much more life left in it. I didn't feel it so I could see the level because I've got a little hole in the middle of the fire rope. And I didn't feel it because you can fill it so the rope soaks up all the mess and then you can fill it so there's an excess mess and you can see it in the hole in the middle. 
but the rope, the amount that I put in there, the rope soaked up. So I should imagine if you filled it enough, you'd probably get 15 minutes. It's really dying down now, and we're on 10 minutes 40 seconds. Popping and spluttering. We're on 11 minutes 50 and it literally is just a small flame there now. Still quite a bit of heat coming off it though. So I'm going to call it there at 12 minutes. Right, let's uh, blow that out. Now we're going to compare it with the Trangia. Well, it is set up for the next test with the Trangia. Well, it's not a Trangia, it's an £8 copy from, I think it was Amazon that I bought it from. I've had it a couple of years now, I've only used it a couple of times. Great little stove, so it worked just as well as a Trangia. So I've cooled the cup down back to room temperature. So, you know, the test is going to be pretty accurate compared to the last setup. <coughs> Um, yeah, so we'll get this one on, lit and on the go and see how long that one takes. Well, I won't be doing a timer test because I haven't measured accurately how much mess I put in the last one. Well, so that should be enough in there to last longer than the last burn. Get the fire still. Wait until it starts blooming actually. Because with the pellet tin and the fire rope, it's pretty much up to uh, heat, it's maximum heat straight away. Right, that's starting to bloom. So, again, we'll fill with 500 millilitres of cold water. and start the timer. So that's really bloomed on all, all on all the holes now. nearer to a rolling boil time. Right, we've just come up to seven minutes. We'll focus on that. Let's have a quick peek and see what's going on. Not a lot yet. We'll keep going. Ten minutes. I think we are getting near there. Yeah, the Crusader Mark 1 with the fire rope and pellet tin did it in 8 minutes and 15 seconds. I've got it written down. This is already way past that. Out in the field as well, outside. Unless you've got a windbreak, 
this wouldn't be as fishing as the Mark 1 because it does break the wind slightly. Definitely starting to sound like you're getting somewhere. The bubbles moving but not quite a rolling boil. We're just coming up for 11 and a half minutes. And we're into a rolling boil. So that was over three minutes longer with the Trangia. I know it's no comparison because I'm not using the Trangia in the cooker base. But you know, if you went out and you wanted to use your Trangia and you haven't got a BCB Crusader Mark II stove, you know, you probably do that. Use it with a pot stand. And you've got a lovely boil going on there. Right, instead of wasting all that energy, I'm gonna have it a nice cap decaf cappuccino. I'd rather be in the woods doing this to be honest. And there we have it. Nice little test and get a lovely cup of coffee out of it as well. Right, so three minutes, over three minutes longer it took for that. As I say, I didn't do a barren time test because it, it, there's no fair comparison whatsoever without measuring the amount of mess that I put into each stove. But the pellet tin did extremely well. The cup would have been closer to the flame. Mm. Yeah, so if you've got a BCB Crusader Mark 1, take one of them with you and a little bottle of mess and then you have the choice of burning your gel or your hexamine blocks or a little meth burner. Like that. Really good and practical. I don't know, I was considering getting the BCB Crusader Mark II cup and base to complete this kit so I could use the Trangia in there, but I think I'd be quite happy with that. I mean, you know, it's windshielded. Problem is with the Trangia, it's still a bit hot at the moment. It's on the Mark I can't sit the cup on there. I suppose you could but it would smother it. No you couldn't. It would just sit flat on top of the stove and smother it. So, all in all I think that's the best solution for burning spirits in the Mark 1. I have seen people cut the base out, cut the bottom out and then stick the Trangier through like that so it sits on there and that works quite well but then you lose the ability to burn your hexamine blocks or your uh, fire gel or any other kind of alcoholic gel. Hand sanitizer works quite well on these believe it or not. Well I hope you like my little comparison video and you know me showing you my little pellet tin stove. Works really well, super light, no hassle to take with you. Right, the, only, the only thing is with the pellet tin, you must make, make sure the excess of mess is gone. Just let it burn out or evaporate because there's no rubber seal on the lid of the pellet tin. So if you leave an excess of meth, methylated spirits or bioethanol in there, it will leak. So what I do, do it back up and it actually lives in the bottom of there.
hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up click the notification bell and subscribe because I will be doing plenty more videos on kit like this and actually going out and using it some overnight wild camps are definitely on the cards once lockdowns over in the UK thanks for watching see you on the next one